It's straight jacket day here at Mucus Asylum Stadium here in Luniapolis, Craziana, home of the insane Colts. The first 1,000 fans will receive a free straight jacket in a 500 volt lobotomy. Am I crazy? Or did I just see a fan throw himself off the upper deck in a garbage can with an M80 in his mouth? No, that's their mascot, Crazy Jimmy. <laughs> what? And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Hexon Oilers take on the Insane Colts. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and two. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Second down and ten. The defender's one speed just kicked in. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Third down and nine. Still moving. Crap. I had money on him biting the big one. If he don't die soon, my long shot is gonna kill me. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and ten. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> you, know, you gotta stay focused on the field, Bricks. You can't lose your head in the heat of battle like he did. It just slows the game down. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore win. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And 
yards, first and ten. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Second down and long. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Third down and eight. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's going to go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Third and two. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off. Oh, and he intercepts the ball. Thank you very much, sister. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles. And it's first and ten. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. That ball was almost intercepted. Third down and five. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Third down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And there goes the ref. You know, Bricks, it's a tough job for a ref to control an angry, fired-up gang of mutants. Kind of like asking a zebra to serve tofu kebabs to a pack of starving lions in the Serengeti. You know, Grim, I killed a ref in Rio once. Eh, just to watch him die. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. <laughs> He just got crushed. I hope some lucky fan gets to catch the ball. This is going to be a great kick. With how hard he's going to have to kick it, he'd probably die, Bricks. Pass me the binocular. It's good. <laughs> The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Roid Rage, how do you like your brain? Scrambled or fried? One Roid Rage breakfast special coming up. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest.
tits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Wow. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And it's first and ten. target more often and it's first and ten does the QB know which team he's on oh with the brutal hit oh that is such bullshit I got money on this game these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls and by talk I mean stomp them into the ground <laughs> First down and less than eight. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Second and three. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. You can't keep a good meal. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third and two. Boom! And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> But, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot, 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 hot. And this guy is supercharged. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. Bingo, bingo. I just hit that mutant, bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And that'll bring up second and one. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, the 
defender lays down a wicked hit and knocks the ball loose. The receiver just got smashed. Not as bad as me last night. He may be dead, but trust me, he's in better shape than I am right now. Oh, geez, here it comes. Blah. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And the quarterback drills one in. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah. Probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but, you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah! Uh, Let's see. No, you didn't see. It. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Oh. And it bombs away. The defense has to do a better job of watching out for that dirty trick. <laughs> Second down and ten. You know what they say? Sometimes the best offense is a jump. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf in the Mutant Farm League. I don't know if he's dancing or just marking his territory. No, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Well, we're talking about points. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that'll give him four more downs to punish the defense. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. 
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Three. Not much there, maybe a yard. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn, but it really is hard to do both at the same time, and I have mastered it. Oh, Mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And they take their last timeout. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. Third down and five. Hot, hot one, hot. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. He blasts it and picks up seven yards right there. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Second down and two. stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, man, he really worked. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot eight. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you yeah, know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I'm at it any And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. And then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And that'll bring up second and one. Totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. First down and three. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And there's another pick. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Rumbling and stumbling, he could go all the way. First down and seven. And he punched his way out of that town, and he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. He could go all the way. This defender is not going to be stopped. Once he picked up that loose ball, he was going to score or die trying. Luckily for him, he scores! The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? The players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The 
that kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my... If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Hey man, nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Pilot? Second down and hot, ain't gonna happen, partner. One, hot two, hot, 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 hot. One, two, three, three. Oh, if I was that QB, I'd be pissed. Third down and never gonna happen. Hot one, hot two, hot. Eight. Great chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt. And Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. Third down and nine. And Lynn Katz will give them a first down. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again! And like a monkey trying to... He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. Just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And this guy has quite the female following. Listen to them. Yeah, they all want to jump his bones. I wish the middle linebacker would have jumped his bones. I just lost a saw buck on that play. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. And it's your mother of a time. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. First down. This guy just loves to hit people. Oh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. 
When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Second down and ten. Man, what a hit that was! Third down and six. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your judges. And who ever said never hit a man when he's down? It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. First and two. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes, I like it. Like a patient prison break. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, with the punishing hit. Ghost. Ghost. First and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. First down and five. Second down and more than the QB would like. force meets the explodable object. Great shoestring tackle. Yeah, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Welcome to the Grind Rage. the dust in the NFL. 
know winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And he just, oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. <laughs> First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. It's a little on the nose, though. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Still, it ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. <laughs> Second down, and, he, and they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him not to... He broke free and has open field in front of him. <laughs> First and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See, oh, Mama, just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> First and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Yeah. Where? Uh, she's on the now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. You need to play smart from here on out. It's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. And it's first and ten. has to make something happen here with one timeout left. Second down and a lot. I've had it. 
I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Oh. Uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Monkey trying to fuck, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck! And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down. The Colts walk away victors today. Yeah, except for that one guy down the field with his head knocked off. After a stomping like that, the opposition may be a permanent part of the field. More like a graveyard, Grim. There are body parts everywhere. And speaking of body parts, that I ever tell well, let's you listen to the MVP. I'm sure he has something inspiring to say. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every other...